you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have done an Amazon favorites video. So that is what you guys are getting today. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and I post beauty and fashion videos. So if you like that type of content, definitely hit that big red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well while you're down there. But let's jump into today's video. I have a lot to share with you guys from fashion to tech to beauty, home, all sorts of good things. So let's get into it. So first up, if you are like me, you really try and get your water in and sometimes it can be really challenging. And for me, if I have a small water bottle, I always forget how many times I've refilled it because I really try and track my ounces every day. But then again, on the other hand, I don't wanna carry around a gallon because that shit is heavy and it's a lot to carry around. So I found this bad boy on Amazon and it is 56 ounces, I believe. I love that it is pink, obviously, but I love that it comes with a straw and you can opt to just chug it. I guess this is called like a chug lid or something like that where you don't need the straw. So I love this. It keeps your drinks cold for over a day. I know in the morning I will fill this up with ice water and I can still have ice floating around the next morning. So it definitely works and it was super affordable. I feel like a lot of these reusable cups or tumblers are so freaking expensive, $40, $50. I'm not paying $40, $50 for a freaking cup. This one I think was around 26. Um, so if you are wanting a big one, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money, definitely check this one out. It also comes in a ton of colors. As always, you guys, I will have links to everything down in the description box. But if you are following me over on my Amazon storefront page, then all of these are linked over as well over there. Um, if you're not following me on my Amazon storefront, go follow me. I have all of my Amazon favorites. This is kind of like my most recent favorite. So next up is a bodysuit and this one I completely love. It is black ribbed and it was super affordable. I want to say 10 or $12. Please ignore the dog hair. I feel like no article of clothing is safe in my house. I always leave with pet hair, but this one is ribbed. It is super lightweight. It's extremely stretchy. I love this one so much. I purchased it in several colors. It is comfortable. It has held up so incredibly well over the past couple years that I've started purchasing them. I also love the snaps in the crotch area. They are very comfortable. You don't even feel them and it is a thong bottom. I love this bodysuit. I think it's 10 or 12 bucks, like I said. It is just a staple piece for me. Moving on to technology, I feel like whether you are on the TikTok trend, the Instagram reel trend, you film YouTube videos, if you do any type of content creation, Finding a good tripod that can get you at the exact height you want can be so tricky. I think since I've started this content creation journey, I have gone through probably 10 or 12 tripods and I haven't really found a tabletop one that I love until now. So this is the tripod. It is by Manfrotto, um, very affordable. I will say it is extremely sturdy and I love that no matter how you bend it, it stays in that position. I've tried others where you go to move the legs and the weight of your camera or phone makes it fall over and it's frustrating. This one is incredible and it has held up so well and I love that when I fold it up and I take this top piece off, it fits perfectly in my purse. It's perfect for me and I find the quality to be amazing. Now the top piece that came with it did not work for my phone because you could only do it horizontal and I needed it vertical. So I purchased this piece separately, which this was a little pricey. I want to say it was $20, 
but it is solid metal. It is so heavy. It is very, very well made. I love that you can adjust the height of it. You can turn this. They, these two together are kind of like my dream tabletop tripod and I would purchase this set over and over and over again. Next up, I was suckered in from TikTok, but I've been seeing these um, disinfecting sprays for your devices. So basically, if you haven't seen this before, you basically just spray your device, it's wet, and then this is a microfiber cloth and you can just wipe off your device so that way it is completely disinfected of course I have dust but I love this I love that I can keep it in my purse I am one of those people that never wipes off or sanitizes their phone I know it's gross and I'm an acne sufferer so that's probably not the smartest thing but I got this to keep it in my purse I love it and then you can refill it with any other disinfecting spray that you want to use but I think this is such a great concept even if you are on the go you work out of a briefcase this is great to keep for your laptop your iPod it just works wonders next up is the anklet that I wear every single day I never take it off yes I shower with it work out with it I swim with it and it has held up so incredibly well. I love, love, love this anklet. And the one thing that I love about it, and it's gonna be probably hard to show on camera, but I love how flat the jewelry piece is. So I don't like anklets where you're wearing shoes and you can feel it and then you have to stop and move your anklet because it hurts and X, Y, Z. This one is so flat, I never feel it and like I said, it held up so well. I think I paid $10 for it. It's It may be like 12 now, um, cause you know, Amazon prices fluctuate like crazy. It's so well made. Now, little disclaimer, I will say that when I work out or if my ankle gets sweaty because I'm wearing sneakers or boots or I'm, like I said, working out, it does leave a green ring around my ankle, but it only does that when my ankle area is sweaty. Um, if I swim with it, if I shower with it, I don't get the green line. Um, so I wanna put that out there because I know some of you hate that. And this one, every time I get it, I jump in the shower and it's gone. So it's not one that stains your skin for like six days. Um, I would repurchase this probably a gazillion times because it is so worth it to me. I absolutely love this. Next, let's get into some home items. This one, of course, I had to mention. This is the Candle Farmhouse, and I have been purchasing this candle for years. I love the smell of it, and especially now that we are into fall, finally, it is just the perfect scent. It has a little bit of spiciness to it, but it's got a hint of sweetness from apples and oranges. It is the perfect fall scent. And it's almost like, I don't know if you guys have Cracker Barrel near you, but it's like Cracker Barrel in the fall. You walk in and it's a moment. This candle is a moment. I have gone through so many of them. I haven't trimmed the wick yet, so don't come for me. But this candle is just one that I will burn all year round because it smells that good. And this is an Hermes coffee table book. I really, really love this book. It's called Heavenly Days. And it's so, so fun to look at. Now, the author is actually an illustrator for Hermes. So as you go through the book, there's all different kinds of whimsical um, illustrations. And it kind of goes through the story of Hermes and how appropriate that this page right here is Halloween since Halloween is coming up. But it's just a really fun book to look at and there's all different types of uh, Hermes illustrations that she has done over the last 20 years. So if you love designer items but you don't really want to spend 100 or $150 for a coffee table book, 
Definitely look at this one. I think it was around $25. Extremely affordable for a designer coffee table book and I love it. So now let's move on to some beauty items. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know for the last six months or so, I have been doing my nails myself at home using Gel X. I used to be a religious acrylic girl and I would go every two to three weeks for a fill. It was costing me probably over $100 a month with tip included and during COVID I just kind of you know you couldn't get in and then the salons were closed and then you were able to get your nails done and then they closed again next week. So once COVID kind of ended um, and the world kind of went back to normal, I realized I didn't really want to spend $100 a month doing my nails anymore. So I invested $100 into supplies so I could do it myself at home. And these are items that I have found that have worked really well for me. The first item is this nail drill. Now it does come with a cord, I just unplugged it. Um, but it is by Melody Susie, and this is, I just have the sanding bit on it right now, but I love the weight of this, and I feel like I have really good control when I am using it, and another great thing is it came with a bunch of tips, so this is the first box of tips that it came with. And these are kind of your buffers or, oops, buffers, sanders, I'll get that one. And then all of your drill bits and more sanding pieces. So I loved that this one came with a lot of heads to go on it because I saw some others where it was just the sanding bits. But I love that. And I also picked up this nail light right here. This is from Kiara Sky and it does have a cord i just unplugged it but you just push the button and the light turns on so it makes doing one nail at a time super easy for a while i was using a normal light you know the ones that you stick your whole hand in and it just wasn't sealing the glue as well as it could be and since i got this one i feel like my nails are like cemented onto my fingers it just, they last so much longer, so I swear by this little guy. And then when it comes to glue, I found this one on Amazon. It had really good reviews. It is the Savvy, Savvy Land Nail Extend Glue Gel, and this is what it looks like right here. This is what I use for my nails every single time I do them, and I have had no issues with um, early lifting with them popping off, anything like that. Now, of course, after about three weeks, they do start to lift, which is normal. But as far as them not lasting three weeks, I haven't had issues with that. The next beauty item is this mirror right here. This is perfect for travel, but it's also perfect for at home. It does have a magnet, but it can sit on your um, vanity or your desk just like this. This is what the mirror looks like. You guys can see yourself for a minute, but there are buttons down here. You can turn it on and it will light up. It does have several different um, types of lighting. You could do warm, daylight, cool, which is really nice, but I love how big the mirror is and it's just, it helps so much if you are in a space like my house where you don't get a ton of sunlight. So I love this. And if you are somebody who travels often, this is great. And it's got a hard case, which will protect your mirror. Next up are these sponges right here. These I am obsessed with. I think I've purchased four or five packs by now. They are the only sponge I use. And I want to say you get 10 or 12 sponges for around six dollars so they're incredibly affordable they are a little bit more dense than the beauty blender which at first i didn't know if i liked but now that i use them every day i can't go back to beauty blenders they're too soft for me this one really just lays your makeup down beautifully and i feel like you get a better coverage from this denser sponge because it's not absorbing as much product. 
I do want to show you the comparison against a beauty blender. The pink one is the beauty blender and this is the comparison. So you can kind of see that the pink one is a little bit shorter and a lot skinnier than this one. But once I started using these, my makeup, I swear they changed the game for me. Now let's move on to some more fashion accessories. Now you guys have probably seen me wear these rings all the time. They are my go-to rings and this is what they look like. So I have kind of this square rectangular cut. I have a round cut. The middle right here is the oval and then a square. And I know it's so hard to pick up the sparkle, but these were, in my opinion, very affordable for the quality. Um, I have had these for, gosh, forever. And I want to say I paid around $47 per ring, which sounds like a lot, but the fact that I haven't had any issues with these rings, no stones have fallen out, they have remained incredibly shiny, which I have to clean them, I haven't cleaned them in a long, long time, but even now they are still very, very shiny, they are comfortable, they come in all different sizes, I am somebody who has very small fingers. Um, these are all a size six. So very tiny fingers, but I love them. They're comfortable and I always get stopped and complimented on my rings saying how beautiful they are. Oh, they must have been so expensive. Oh, you must have a lucky husband, X, Y, Z, all of the wow, you must, your husband must be rich because he got you these big stone ring comments. And then I throw the bombshell at them that, thank you, but they are from Amazon. And I have sent so many people the links for these. They come in so many different cuts and of course sizes. These are my daily go-to rings. Next up are probably my favorite pair of sunglasses ever. And they are from Amazon. I wanna say around $12 a pair. So the first pair are the black, which I have shown before and I think I've seen them all over Instagram too, but they are the square cat eye. I just love how they look. They are so comfortable and I am somebody that can get headaches from sunglasses and these don't bother me at all. But because I loved the black ones so much, I had to get a brown pair and this is the turtle shell and I just, I love them. Are they not so cute? So comfortable. And then if that wasn't enough, I of course had to get the white pair because you never know when you're going to need a pair of white sunglasses and these are it. And I love them. They do have other colors as well. I haven't gone back for more, but I probably will. But speaking of sunglasses, these ones are also a must have. They are bigger and kind of more of your traditional square glasses. They come in a ton of colors as well very affordable. I want to say $13, $14, but I love sunglasses and I love inexpensive sunglasses because I just throw them around. I throw them in my purse and chances are they're going to break eventually. And last but certainly not least is this gorgeous bag right here. Now this is obviously the Amazon version of the designer, but your girl is not spending that kind of money on a bag. So I went with the Amazon version. The quality is beautiful. The sparkle in real life is amazing. Now it is very, very tiny, which I like because I would use this as a date night or a girl's night out bag. They do have a larger size for kind of every day, but I am not, I don't know. I didn't want the big version. So this is the tiny version, but I love the detailing. I love the knotted handles. It is so cute, so affordable. And I have a pair of boots that match this perfectly. So I thought this would be a must for winter. So if you guys have been eyeing this, definitely look into it. It is so affordable. I think like 30 bucks and the quality is so good. I haven't lost any stones and it's just, it is so cute. Like how can you not love this? 
So definitely look into it if you are wanting a little sparkle to your wardrobe. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.